Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Molly and I'll be attempting a northbound through hike of the Appalachian Trail starting in just a few weeks. Uh, but today I wanted to go over uh, the different electronics that I'll be bringing, um, how I plan to keep those charged, and also how I plan to vlog my through hike. So let's first start out with the different electronics that I'll be bringing. Uh, the first one um, will be my phone. I have the iPhone 14. I'll primarily be using this to take pictures and then edit my videos, but I'll talk about that more in a little bit. I also am bringing the Garmin InReach Mini 2. This probably isn't super necessary on the Appalachian Trail just because I've heard there is some service, but uh, just for like peace of mind, like for my family, I'm going to be bringing this and probably sending out um, like a message probably every night if I don't have service, just letting them know that like I made it to camp and I'm okay. Uh, so I'll be bringing this with me. I did actually work for Garmin for a little bit uh, as a product support specialist uh, for their outdoor watches. So I was able to get this uh, with my employee discount. So that made it a lot less expensive for me. But yeah, I'll be bringing this uh, on the AT. Uh, while we're talking about Garmin, I'll also be bringing my Garmin GPS watch. I have the Phoenix 6. I've had this for oh, probably almost four years now. Uh, still works great. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to track all of my activities with GPS just because of battery life, but I'm going to, at least at the beginning, try to and then see how well or how much power I have. If I'm able to keep everything charged, then I'll keep doing it. If not, then this will probably be one of the things that um, I stop using as much in order to save some battery. Um, I'm also going to be bringing these Apple AirPods with me. I think they're just the first generation. Again, I've had these for a while. Didn't really think I needed to get new headphones for this trip. Um, we'll see how I like having to charge these again. Like if this is something that I don't have enough battery, so these probably won't get charged if I'm running low on battery. So if that happens and I still want to listen to music at night or an audiobook or something while I'm hiking. I am going to be bringing a pair of wired headphones uh, just as a backup. But yeah, so I have just a, a really light pair of wired headphones. I uh, have the lightning port so I can just plug them directly into my phone. All right, so I switched videoing it from my GoPro to my phone so that I can talk about the GoPro that I'll be bringing. Uh, I have the GoPro Hero 10, so I'll be bringing this with me, and then I'm not going to be bringing like a tripod or anything, uh, I'm actually just going to keep this kind of clip mount on it. I really like this, uh, this mount here. I like to have my GoPro pretty easily accessible while I'm hiking. So I tend to just like clip it to like the sternum strap of my pack or um, in this case I've been clipping it just like right here while I'm not using it just to have easy access to it. Um, it's been really sturdy. I like how secure it feels. Um, I can easily like hold it like this and talk to the camera and things like that. So. I think this is really all that I'll be bringing. I can also like set it down uh, like this, like on a log or something and do walk by shots if I feel like it. So um, yeah, this is kind of really the only like mount that I'll be bringing for the GoPro. All right, back to filming with the GoPro. <laughs> so along with the GoPro, I'll also be bringing uh, two GoPro batteries. I have the Enduro batteries 
that tend to last a little bit longer and then they also are supposed to do better in colder weather. Um, I've had issues before with the GoPro just turning off in cold weather and that's really frustrating and really annoying. So hopefully that doesn't happen as much with these. And then I also have this charger for the GoPro batteries so that I can charge both of them at the same time. So hopefully that'll save me some time in town being able to charge both of them. But when I'm on the trail, I have two Nightcore 10,000 milliamp battery packs that I'll be bringing. Um, hopefully this should be enough battery to last me in between towns. Um, I already had one of these, had it for a while. So instead of buying the 20,000 milliamp uh, Nightcore battery pack, I just decided to get another 10,000 milliamp. So I'll have two. Um, it also kind of gives me peace of mind, like if one stops working for some reason, then I have another one and I'm not just out of luck uh, with that. And to charge all of these things in town, I have this Anchor wall charger. It has the collapsible uh, plug and then it has two... USB-C ports and one USB port. And it's a fast charger. I think it has 67 watts. So it should hopefully charge things a little bit quicker. I do have a few charging cords that I have to bring with me to charge all of these things. Uh, the first one I'm bringing is a USB-C to USB-C cord. So this will charge my GoPro, the GoPro batteries, my power banks, and my Garmin inReach. Um, I also have to bring a iPhone charger, so with the lightning port, to charge my iPhone. So I'm bringing one of those. And then lastly, my watch has a special charger, so I did have to bring that. And uh, this is the only one that is a USB port. Everything else is USB-C, but that's what they have or what I have, so I have to bring that. All right, so now let's talk about how I'll be vlogging my through hike. So like I said, I have the GoPro Hero 10, so I'll be primarily taking videos on that. I really like having the GoPro because it has like the stabilization features. It's pretty much waterproof. I don't have to worry about it getting too wet or anything like that. If it's raining, I can still film. Uh, with my phone, I'd be probably a little bit more hesitant about that. Um, so that's kind of some of the reasons why I'm bringing the GoPro, even though it is a little bit extra weight. So like I said, I'll primarily be taking videos on my GoPro. So I have some SD cards that I'll be bringing with me, a couple of these to store all the footage. And then I also have to bring this little adapter so that I can transfer the videos from the micro SD card to my phone in order to edit them. So this is a cool little adapter. One end is the lightning port so it goes right into my phone and then in there you can put the SD card. I'll show you how that works. So yeah, put the SD card in there and then this literally just clips into my phone and then all the videos that are on there will pop up when I go to like my camera roll and I'll be able to import the ones that I want. So uh, I use this process to edit my videos uh, when I did the Oregon Coast Trail, it works really well. And then I just use iMovie for the editing software. Uh, it's what I use on my laptop and also what I've been using on my phone. I'm just used to it, it's pretty simple. Uh, to make videos with, so that's what I'll be using. Last but not least, I have this Osprey dry bag that I'll be putting all of my electronics in um, as just another safeguard to help keep them dry. I do not want anything getting wet, so I have this dry bag that I'll be putting everything in, and then I'll also be putting it inside the dry bag that's in my pack. So hopefully everything stays dry that's supposed to stay dry. I also, I guess you can kind of call this an electronic. Um, I have the Nightcore NU25UL uh, headlamp that is rechargeable. So I'll be bringing this with me and I'll also need to um, 
recharge this every once in a while uh, when the battery dies. But yeah, I really like this headlamp. Uh, super light. It has some different brightnesses and also the red light option. So yeah, pretty awesome little headlamp uh, that I'll be bringing with me. Uh, I think that's all the electronics that I'll be bringing. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about any of these. Uh, if you have any things specific that you want to see in the vlogs that I'll be posting on the Appalachian Trail, uh, put those recommendations in the comments. Let me know if you have any questions about any of the electronics that I'll be bringing, if you have any questions about how I'll be vlogging. The goal is to post videos daily, but we'll see how that goes once I get on trail. Uh, if it becomes too much, then maybe we'll go to weekly, but I do think that it's a lot easier to, in terms of editing uh, to just do a quick, um, like shorter videos daily rather than longer videos like once a week. Uh, just the whole process, trying to export long videos on my phone takes a long time. Uh, so I think doing the shorter ones might just be easier, but we'll see when I get out there, might pivot if we need to. But yeah, again, let me know if you have any questions, any suggestions, anything you wanna see in my vlog specifically, uh, let me know all that in the comments. As always, thank you so, so much for watching everything that I've been doing to prepare for this through hike. I truly, truly appreciate it, all the advice and the support and everything that I've been getting. Thanks for watching and mighty fine hiking, everyone. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.